Praise God, Prophet. Thanks so much for having me and all of my fellow constituents. Uh, thanks for having us. Listen, 2021 is going to be an incredible year. 21 is three times seven. Seven, of course, stands for perfection, okay? So there's going to be a triple threat anointing, a triune anointing in this new year of 2021 where God's going to perfect some things. Let me revelate and talk to you a little bit about what the number seven stands for, okay? I'm going to give you seven points on what seven stands for. Seven stands for perfection. Some say Jesus is perfecting my life times three. Number two, Jesus is completing. Seven stands for completion. So there's going to be a triple anointing for completion in this new year. Number three, the third point for number seven stands for rest. Of course, it stands for the Shabbat. So it's going to be a year of rest. Come on, somebody. I know the prophet Bob Jones prophesied that the 2020s is a decade of rest. Do you believe it? Amen. So there's going to be triple rest over your life. He's putting all of your enemies to rest. Number four, it's a year of actual gold because seven stands for gold. Listen, you need to be refined, purified seven times over like the word of God, like gold. So this is a year of gold where he's causing you to come out of the fires like never before. Uh, seven also stands for uh, the realm of uh, multiplication because on the seventh day, he said it is very good. So this is a time of the very good anointing in this new year, uh, 2021, seven times straight. And it also stands for uh, clarity and wholeness. So the Lord is giving you clarity in this new year. Let me talk to you a little bit about 2021 because the Lord spoke to me and said, it's going to be a John 21 year. Come on, somebody. Listen, apostle Peter, he was so discouraged. He was disappointed. He failed Jesus. So many of you feel like you failed Yeshua. So many of you feel like you're a failure. All right. The rooster crowed three times, the Sriracha rooster crowed three times. And you said, Oh, this hot sauce is in my eyes. Oh, uh, now I failed. I failed in the year 2020, but in 20, 2021, the Bible says in John 21, Peter had an encounter with Jesus at the shores. Have you felt like you've been trying to fish all year, but you've been a failure? You missed, you missed out, you messed up. But listen, in John 21, Peter, in his most darkest, discouraged, low point of his life, he encountered Yeshua at the shores. So in, in 2021, it's going to be a John 21 year. Someone say, John 21. I declare right now that God is breaking off disappointment and discouragement, and he's about to anoint the Peters to be the apostolic head and a voice in this new year and generation. You're going to be like the Peter for upon this rock, I will build my church, says the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, I will build my church, not man, not an organization, not the WHO. All right. Jesus will build the church on this rock. So it's a year where God is reinstating. He is reordaining, reinstituting the Peters that felt like they failed. Come on, somebody. So in 2021, it's going to be a John 21 year. I'm going to give you five prophetic points. If you're writing notes, you better be a good A plus student right now. Number one, Peter uh, encountered Jesus. Are you ready for Jesus encounters in 2021? I declare Jesus encounters. That's going to be rambunctious, whimsical, extravagant. It's going to cause you to leap off your feet. It's going to surprise you. It's going to shock your enemies. I'm telling you, you're going to be so filled with the Holy Ghost in this new year. You're going to meet Jesus in new ways. So number one, encountering Jesus. Number two, what happened with Peter? All right. He was discouraged. And Jesus says, I want to teach you how to fish. Come on, somebody. I said, go fish. Jesus said to Peter, I know you've been trying to catch fish all night, but I'm going to teach you the right way. Throw the net on the right side. Come on, somebody. And guess what? The nets began to break. Are you ready? ready for Jesus to teach you? Are you ready for God to give you the upper hand? Are you ready for God to begin to show you the whole deck of cards? I'm telling you, he still has some wonderful, incredible tricks up his sleeves, and he's going to cause you to be the head and the lender, not the not the bottom, not the low, and not the borrower. So in this year, 2021, he's going to teach you new things. Someone say, Jesus, teach me some new things. Number three, all right, after Jesus encountered Peter, number two, he taught Peter how to fish. He's going to teach you how to be effective and effectual in 2020. Number three, what happened? There was multiplication. Come on, somebody. There was multiplication. He went from zero to hero. He went from nada to abundance. He went from nothing, trying to catch all night, and he had multiplication. I'm telling you, 2021 
is a realm of three times seven. It's going to be a triple anointing of seven of completion, completion, perfection, gold, rest, clarity, wholeness. This is going to be year 2021 of multiplication in your life. You know, I know every single person that's been spirit filled and we lean into the voice, the whispers of God. He has prospered us in this pandemic. We already know that. All right. The true church is rising. All right. Why? Because our prosperity is not hindered by a time or a season, but our prosperity is eternal. Come on, somebody. So he's going to cause you to multiply. And from there, number four, harvest. Someone say harvest. Come on. Are you ready to catch some fish? I'm telling you, there's some fish in the underwaters. There's some fish in the down below deep. There's some fish in the depths that you have not even seen yet. So in this season, 2021, you're going to catch some fish. You're going to get some great harvest. Souls, souls, souls. People are running to your church, to your ministries. People are going to run to your businesses. Listen, I hear right now, I prophesy to every entrepreneur and small business owner, restaurant owner, you shall not shut down, but you shall open up and you shall gain the wealth of the wicked. Do you know that the greatest transference of wealth is happening right now in human history? All right. So many articles have said the greatest transference of wealth is happening today. Come on, somebody. I'm telling you, 2021 is a year of harvest. As you let Jesus encounter you afresh, as you let the Holy Ghost teach you, as you let him begin to multiply you, you're going to gain harvest. Someone say harvest. And number five, in 2021, you are going to have partners. Listen, Dr. Naeem and, and Pastor Ro already shared it, but you're going to gain partners. What happened? There was so much glory that he had to call his enemies. He had to call the other fishers. There was so much glory that he had to call some people he hasn't called in three years time. I'm telling you in 2021, there's going to be so much abundance. I'm telling you bags full of plunder. You're going to leave 2020. Listen, I declare right now, even as you're about to end 2020, we still got about 12 days. You're going to end with a big bang. Listen, we just finished celebrating Hanukkah yesterday and you're going to end this year with a big bang with signs, wonders, and miracles. Do you know why? Because December is still belongs to Jesus. I want to tell you right now, 2020 still belongs to Jesus. So you're going to end this year in transition to 2021 with signs, wonders, and miracles. So in this new year, you're going to have partners. Come on, somebody. I said there's going to be synergy. There's going to be convergence. There's going to be clusters. There's going to be hubs. There's going to be new teams. There's going to be a new movement and manifestation of the fivefold ministry in this new year, 2021. It's a year of partners. Someone say partners. Someone say Jesus is bringing me the partners. Someone say Jesus. Jesus is calling forth the harvesters and the leaders and the partners in my life. Someone say amen. Listen, people of God, 2021 is going to be a John 21 year. All right. I declare of your life that you are that Peter. Let me talk to you a little bit about one, because I talked to you about 21. I gave you five prophetic points on John 21. And now I'm going to talk to you about number one. I know Dr. Naeem already taught and revelate on that, but my job is to begin to add on and to begin to share what was not shared to add it on to. We're going to take this to the next level. Someone say amen. One in Hebrew stands for Echad or it stands for Aleph, okay? One in Hebrew stands for Echad and Aleph. And of course, Aleph is the first number, first letter in the whole Hebraic alphabet, which is, we are in the year 5781. We're about to enter into 2021. Someone say one. It's the power of one. So in this new year, okay, Aleph stands for the ox, of course, but it stands for heads. Come on, somebody. It stands for leadership. It stands for new voices. It stands for new heads and new leaders. So the Lord began speaking to me. I even shared this uh, on a broadcast with Dr. Candace Smitherman on her Glory Road uh, television show. And uh, on 5781, which stands for a left ox head. Someone say head. Someone say, I am the big head and I am not the big tail. All right. So on 5781, 2021, you're going to be the head, not the tail. What does it stand for? This means that God's raising up the Davids to cut off the heads of every Goliath. God's raising up the humble with his mighty right hand. He's raising up the humble. They will be the new head, the new voices, the new prophetic uh, voices in this era. And he's going to use them to be like David's, to cut off the heads of corruption, cut off the heads of wickedness, to cut off the heads of all these, all these false governmental ties and all these things. So God's going to use the David's to cut off the heads of Goliath. And what happened? David had a new oil. Are you ready for a new oil on your head? Come on, like my head is shining on this Facebook live broadcast. I'm telling you, there's going to be an oil that breaks the yoke. It's not good teaching, okay? It is not a 
TED Talk. It is not a Netflix. This is the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And there's going to be a new oil that comes upon this Davidic generation to dance, to praise, to worship. It cannot be stopped. And the Goliaths are going to get their heads cut. And I'm telling you, we're going to see movements shut down. We're going to see false movements, ap even false apostolic movements shut down. Because even Jesus declares to Apostle John in Revelations, he says that there are false apostles. So there's going to be not only false prophets shut down, but false apostles. Come on, somebody. And so as David cut down the head of Goliath, now there's going to be new movements. Are you ready for new movements? Let me talk to you right now, because God in this season, in this new year, 2021, a left one, which means for oneness, unity, and wholeness, which also stands for the ox anointing, which also stands for the first, the beginning, the patriarch, uh, the father, and it also stands for uh, heads and leadership. All right, I'm going to give you five things for you to look out in this year, in 2021. Come on. I prophesy as a man of God. These five things shall take place in the year 2020. You watch. You watch it with your own eyes, and you will testify with your mouth in the name of Jesus. Number one, as this is the year of the ox, then the year of the strength, new strength, which I love what Dr. Naeem shared, as is the year of John 21. All right, there's going to be five things. Number one, he's raising up new voices in this season. In 2021, you're going to see new voices. Listen, uh, Prophet Joseph Clark is a, is a new emerging voice. Listen, I was a new emerging voice three, four years ago, all right? But so in 2021, there's going to be new emerging voices that's going to rise up, okay, in the political realm, in the financial realm, in the church realm, all right? So that's all I'm going to say. I declare that over your life, new voice, new face, new name, new brand, new anointing, new glory, new move, new, new everything. Amen. Number two, there's going to be new currencies, okay? There's going to be new currencies in 2020. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost. In 2021, there's going to be new currencies, crypto, digital. There's going to be new currencies, and the U.S. dollar is going to go up. It's going to be strong. So there's going to be currencies shifting and changing, and God is going to release new currencies in this new year. So y'all better start getting into the new, the new, the new. Amen. All right, number three, there's going to be new movements. Come on, somebody. There's going to be new movements. Movements that's going to rise up. We already know 2020, declare with your mouth, it shall be established, all right? Uh, but we already know that in this decade, in this era, in this year, 2021, 5781, there's going to be new movements. Someone say new movements, all right? There's going to be new movements. We already know, uh, in a sense, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, Sean Foyt, Let Us Worship. There's, you know, uh, patriotism. There's been so many different types of movements that's come forth. But in this year, 5781, 2021, there's going to be new movements that's going to take place. And it's, it's just going to be bewildering. It's going to be bonkers, all right? Someone say new movements, all right? Number four, all right, there's going to be a whole new uh, realm of science, technology, and health, okay? Listen, there is a John G. Lake anointing that's coming upon the body of Christ. There is a mantle of healing, supernatural wholeness that's coming upon the body of Christ. So in this year, 2021, there's going to be a great focus and emergence on health, okay? I'm telling you, no curse shall touch you, no pestilence, no slicky COVID, nothing shall touch you, all right? You're going to be untouchable. So in this year, 2021, all right, people are going to walk around super healthy, super joy, especially the remnants of the remnants. I know many of you right now, you think you're part of the remnant. No, you're actually part of the remnants of the remnant, all right? But the remnant of the remnant will be that like that Goshen that's not touched while all of Egypt's being judged with a uh, hellfire, all right? But you will walk in supernatural health and well-being and a wholeness inside out, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, in every area of life, even financially, relationship. Come on, somebody. So expect that. There's going to be new booms, breakthroughs in technology, science, and health. And the last point for you to look out for right now is Israel and the nations, okay? In 2021, watch out for Israel and the nations because there's so many things shifting and moving right now. And, and listen, I... Uh, I know all eyes are on America right now, and I know we're talking about China and Russia and Europe and UK just shut down, etc. But we need to keep our eyes on Israel. We need to keep our eyes on Jerusalem. All right. So keep your eyes on Israel and the nations because there's going to be so many shifts and things are going to come into alignment and things are going to break off. I'm telling you, there's a shaking of the United Nations coming this year. There's a shaking that's going to come with all these different united movements because there's a new 
new move. There's a new thing that God is doing on the earth. Listen, I want to declare a new apostolic movement, new apostolic reformation. You've already heard it, that this is a year and a decade of the mouth of the prophets. But I want to say in 5781, I want to say in 2021, it's not just a year of the prophets, but it's the year of the apostolic prophets. For the foundation is built upon the apostles and the prophets. New era, new movements, new glory, new harvest, new partnerships over your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. It's going to be the best year yet. Three times seven, 21. Amen, amen, amen.